Hello and welcome to Tea Time with Laura Lee. So we'll have some tea to start out. So uh, in this series of Tea Time, then I want to share with you various things to think about in terms of freedom. What that means to you and ways in which you can shift things around in your own mind and in your own day-to-day -day actions that you do that will give you a greater sense of freedom. And from what I have discovered, it's all an inside job. It's all mindset, first and foremost before anything else. That then dictates what you do, how you make your decisions, and how you fill your time. So today I wanted to share with you the sense of freedom in terms of health. So when I was, what was I? I was a sophomore in high school, which meant I was 15, 16, something like that. Then my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. And over the following 12 years, I observed up close and personal as well as far away because part of a lot of that those 12 years I was off in college so I wasn't living at home with her but I would still hear and see and of some of the things that she struggled with and at the end of those 12 years then the disease had literally eaten her through and it was she passed right about the same time or two weeks three weeks after I graduated from college. So I was at a very formative time of my life, still figuring out myself and what I wanted to do. And so that experience of watching her deteriorate from that disease made an impact and it influenced me to make certain choices, which now, years later, then I see much more clearly the results of them having made those choices become habits and part of my lifestyle. So when it comes to cancer, then one of the first things that we associate with it is a lot of fear. We're trained and programmed and taught to believe that there's so much unknown in that disease that there's nothing you can do about it that it's literally a death sentence and that there's only three or four prescribed or um, recommended approaches which as more and more research has come out about health and disease and what creates it and what doesn't then we're finding a lot of the standard treatments for cancer really doesn't work so back in the day when I was observing all this of what my mother was going through, then it really made me stop and think, it's like, Laura Lee, how do you want to live? How do you want to take care of your body? How do you want to think? How do you want to feel about yourself? How do you want to eat? Because as I learned more about the disease, so I didn't have to fear it, that gave me a sense of great freedom. Freedom emotionally, freedom from the fear, freedom mentally and recognizing there's choices here that you can make. It's not a set in stone thing, contrary to what most people still think about that disease, as well as many other diseases and health conditions that people have. So as I became more educated, then I learned different things that can be done to offset the possibility of ending up in a similar situation that my mom did. So I made choices to change my diet and really look at my mental and emotional health. Because I knew way back then, early on, as I started really learning about health and well-being and personal development, it was very apparent to me 
that every physical problem, every physical disease has a mental and emotional component. And you cannot totally address and reverse the physical condition if you refuse to deal with the mental and emotional components. You have to. That's the underlying thing. So I made a lot of different decisions over the years. And sometimes I wasn't real quick about making them. I just would mosey along and make choices here and there and just kind of plateau out for a while. But overall, in the larger picture of things, looking back, I've made a lot of decisions that have taken me on a completely different trajectory of my life in my self-care, in my diet, than what I had growing up. And at this point in my life, it's enough of a time and distance difference that I can see, yeah, there's a big choice or a big difference here. And I can now experience the freedom that health gives me now. The freedom of not having monster medical bills and having to spend so much time in doctor's office, having to spend God knows how much money every month on drugs. To have 15, five different prescriptions and feeling like that's just standard the way you're supposed to live that everybody else does. That's not healthy. And it's also not giving you a sense of freedom. Because you're tied to the fear of what if. You're tied to the fear of if I'm diagnosed with this thing that I don't understand, then my body turns on me and does things that I can't control. You're run by that belief that your body's out to get you and is doing something that you have no control without stopping to question if that belief is even true. Because you're so in fear. You're so controlled by that. And if you're, that's your mindset, if that's where you're living, how are you free? You're not. You're run by fear. You're run by the dictates of what society and convention tells you you have to do in response to certain health conditions. And I'm telling you, that's not necessarily the case. There's choices that can be made if you can see your way through to the other side of that emotional charge of fear and unknown, enough to educate yourself, enough to be willing to go into the unknown and make different choices, willing to eat differently and put different things in your body and learn how to take care of yourself, so that you can experience greater freedom. Greater freedom of health, greater freedom of mobility and energy to be able to do the things that you want to do with the people that you want to do them. Greater freedom financially so that you're not stuck and buried under mounds of medical bills and insurance premiums and drugs and prescriptions and everything that that's that goes with that picture, that's not giving you freedom. It's giving you death. So the topic thing or today or the question for you to think about today is, what does freedom of health mean to you? What does freedom from fear about health conditions mean to you? What would you like them to be instead of what you've currently been carrying around? How can you begin to make those choices and those changes? What would you need to study? What areas would you need to Google and research or books would you need to look up to educate yourself to give you freedom through knowledge? To give you freedom from the fear of the unknown. So I know that's a lot to think about. And it is kind of a heavy topic. But 
let's have some tea and just make some notes, do some journaling, and leave a few comments for me below of what health freedom means to you, what dietary freedom means to you, financial freedom from health expenses, medical expenses. If you didn't have all the medical bills that you currently have, what would you do with your time and your money and your life? Imagine, give you more freedom. <laughs> so leave your comments below. I'd love to have some conversations with you about all of that and see where it can go. And I can also offer you some tips and suggestions for those of you who do want to make some of those changes. So also make a note in the comments that you would like to know some more of those ideas from me. All right. Thanks so much. See ya.